Are your employees spending more time than you'd like looking for the equipment that they need to do their job? Are lost tools starting to cost you an arm and a leg? Maybe you've already implemented a barcode-based asset tracking system and it isn't having the effect that you were hoping for. If any of these things describe you, then an RFID-based asset tracking solution might be the thing that you've been looking for. Historically, RFID has been in the realm of Fortune 500 companies with big budgets and really smart people that can invest a bunch of money into developing a solution. But not anymore because we've built a few complete asset tracking kits that come with almost everything you need to get started. And the great news is that it won't cost you a fortune and there's not a huge learning curve in order to get up and running. In fact, some of these kits can actually use the iPhone or Windows PC that you're probably using to watch this video right now. We've created three different versions of this asset tracking kit. There's a Windows version, there's an iPhone version, and an Android version. So no matter which operating system you and your employees are comfortable with, you'll have something that feels a little at home. The Windows kit will turn any existing Windows PC into an asset tracking hub. This is ideal for smaller operations with very centrally uh, located assets. The iPhone and Android version will allow you to track your assets from anywhere in your operation, so long as they're in range. All three versions of the kit were built for general asset tracking applications. So whether you're looking to track tools, heavy machinery, uh, or similar items like that, you'll be squared away there. But we've also seen people use it in like a retail setting uh, where they want to track high value inventory items, uh, such as jewelry. Uh, and even in offices, we've seen people slap them onto paper documents and use them to track really important documents that they can't afford to lose. So if you're looking to find a solution that's gonna allow you to be able to more easily locate small, expensive, or really important things, this is a great solution. At the heart of every version of the kit is this RFID scanner. This is an RFD40 from Zebra Technologies. Each kit will also come with a roll of 1,000 pre-printed four by one RFID labels, which kind of look like this. Um, and a license of Tagmatics AT Lite, our preferred RFID asset tracking software. Uh, the base version of that software will support up to 750 unique assets, but you can upgrade that to 2,000 or 5,000 assets if your operation requires it. Though we found that for most people, 750 is more than enough to get started. The particular setup of the RFD40 will vary a little bit between the different versions of the kit. Uh, the Android and iPhone versions will have uh, a little adapter here. Uh, there's like this little cup that sort of snaps onto the top of the RFID 40, uh, RFD 40 rather, and holds the phone. We've pre-packaged the kit on the Android version with a Zebra TC21. It is the most popular version of the kit because the TC21 has an integrated barcode scanner built onto the top of the device so that you can scan both RFID and barcode labels using the same device. And that's great if you kind of want to have a hybrid setup or if you're looking to just dip your toes into RFID while still maintaining the bulk of your items in a barcode based format. Um, the kit will also come with a drop-in cradle, a drop-in charging cradle that has these little contact pins on top that kind of press down. Um, normal plug-in ports tend to wear out over time and have a greater risk of snapping off if they're knocked off a table or something like that. Uh, so with this device, you know, all you need to do drop it in like that, and it's charging both devices, which is pretty schnazzy. Um, and this is great because normal plug-in ports tend to wear out over time and have a great risk of snapping off if they're knocked off a table or something. So, you know, good perk. Um, speaking of falling off the floor, the TC21 is rated to survive multiple four-foot drops of concrete, and it can be submerged in water, uh, up to three feet of water, rather, for about 30 minutes without breaking. So if you're using this setup in an industrial application or outdoor environment, you'll be covered there. If you're interested in using the iPhone version, the, uh, the adapter is designed to connect to an OtterBox Universe case that corresponds to your iPhone version. Now, OtterBox sells those directly, so you'll have to purchase them separately, but we can help you find the right one. Um, and of course, you'll need to bring your own iPhone on that. Um, also unique to the iPhone version is a USB charging cup that provides power to the entire setup. It has similar perks to the drop-in cradle on the Android kit, but with a slightly different form factor to compensate for the fact that there are a bunch of different versions of the iPhone. Now, and that's the primary reason that the kit doesn't come with it because then we would need to make like 15 different kits for all the versions of iPhone. Um, the Windows kit version, of course, doesn't have a device that you need to mount to the scanner. So it'll have a flat top 
Um, it's also our cheapest version of the kit, coming in at just a little over $2,000. Uh, and for some folks watching, you may hear that $2,000 and be a little sticker shocked. And that's fair, you know, RFID certainly is a more expensive solution when compared to something like a traditional barcode. But you're gonna get some pretty cool abilities that you don't get in a barcode setup. So let's talk about those. The biggest feature that most people purchase this kit for is the Geiger counter-like uh, locating feature that's available with the RFID software. So you can slap a label on something, you know, whether it be a box like this or an actual proper tool, uh, and then use the software to sort of tell you when you're getting closer to the device. Um, and that's useful if you're looking for something that's small, that's easily misplaced. Uh, you know, if you have a big old warehouse with a bunch of stuff moving around, uh, it's a great way to quickly find the asset or item that you're looking for, and that can save your employees a ton of time other than having to like manually ruffle through, uh, you know, ruffle through cabinets and drawers and things like that. Uh, to use this feature, you'll need to create an asset uh, in the Tagmatic software or import at asset information using a CSV or an XLS file. You can do that for the entire database, so you know, you should be able to get up and running relatively quick. Uh, you can associate photos, locations, um, and other custom information fields with that asset so you can load it out with all the information that your current system already has. Then you just need to stick a label to the device, turn on the locating feature, and you're off to the races. The software also has built-in asset uh, check-in and check-out modes. So if you can specify an employee to check it out to, select due date, and if applicable, annotate any additional notes regarding the checkout. And at any time, uh, if you want to just kind of check in, you can do a guided cycle count and determine variances in your stock. Uh, then the software will report back expected, matched, missing, and misplaced assets. Uh, and you could even use that to uh, the software's built-in custom report function to build out customized reports uh, with the information that you're looking for based on those customized fields. Another cool feature of the software is that it supports environmental sensors on its 2000 and 5000 asset plan. So if you want to use an RFID tag with uh, you know, a temperature, humidity, or a shock sensor and have it feed information to the software, uh, you can do that. Now the system will only be able to collect that information when you pull the trigger on the reader. So if you want to collect that sort of data continually, you want to upgrade to a slightly different reader and version of the software. Um, so if that's something you're looking for, I would recommend giving us a call and letting us help you build out a more bespoke solution because once you get into that territory, things get, things get a little bit complicated. So, you know, definitely good to have a partner on your side who can help you weed through the research there. All the information that the software needs to operate, so your database and all of that, is stored locally on the device. So you don't need an internet connection in order to use this. Uh, so that's great if you have a big stockyard and are worried about a spotty Wi-Fi network. You can walk out and feel confident knowing that you know, you're not gonna uh, lose service and have a bunch of stuff not work. Um, because all the information is hosted locally, um, the software is only configured to work with one RFID reader at a time. Now for most use cases and most users, they're only looking to use the one, but if you have a setup where you want to use multiple setups or want to pair this with like a fixed reader, um, you're gonna want to upgrade to a slightly different version of the software and that's something that we can help you out with. And that's about it for the kit. Uh, you know, it's a pretty lean setup, intentionally so. Uh, definitely built for small and medium businesses that are just looking to dip their toes into an RFID setup, but aren't interested in paying five, six, ten thousand dollars $10,000 for a complete RFID solution. Um, of course, all the items are gonna be backed by our hardware troubleshooting support and a team of experts who are ready to help. Uh, so you can feel confident knowing that uh, no matter where you are in the journey, you'll have someone to help you out and sort of weed through, uh, you know, all the technical documentation. If you're interested, uh, feel free to give us a call or an email. Both of those should be on the screen now. If you're interested in checking out the kit, uh, there should be a little link in one of the corners. There's also a link in the description. So feel free to follow those um, and sign up for a consultation if you wanna see if RFID is right for you. We've also created a guide for small and medium business owners who are looking at RFID to help you determine whether an RFID solution is gonna be right for the use case or the pain point that you're looking to solve. That'll also be in the description. It will also be a link up here. Uh, so if you're still on the fence, check that out. It's a great starting resource to get you uh, pointed in the right direction. But with that, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And we look forward to helping you out in the future. Take care, everybody.